Building wash resilience, conflict sensitivity, and peace. What does it take to achieve resilience, sustainability, and peace for all? Securing safe water, sanitation, and hygiene has never been simple. This rings especially true in times of crisis like armed conflict, natural calamities, or pandemics. When shocks hit, humanitarians often have an immediate focus providing urgent life-saving relief. Once shocks subside, it's development cooperation that follows, reducing dependency, fostering capacities, and improving long-term services. Peacekeeping takes a preventative approach, monitoring and minimizing future conflict outbreaks. Each pillar fulfills a crucial role, but often operates independently. We need to change how we think and work together. 40% of the world is expected to live in water-stressed environments. Climate change is increasing the frequency and severity of extreme weather events. And globally, conflict is on the rise. Working together is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. By bridging divides and enhancing collaboration, we can minimize harm, maximize impact, and achieve better, long-lasting results. Synergies between humanitarian assistance, development cooperation, and peace building exist. It's time we acknowledge and capitalize on them. Sustainable access to services should be ensured universally, whether in crisis or stability. Building resilience, conflict sensitivity, and peace is possible. And the humanitarian development and peace nexus, a holistic solution that starts with you.